These guys are two weeks old. All of them. Eh, about, you know, they say, you know, they show up at the feed stores on Tuesday and they're supposed to be a day old. So they're about, they're about two. This is their two week birthday, I guess. But, uh, they've started to get little bitty tail feathers. You can see kind of their actual tail little butts are not just fuzzy. I think all of them, like the Easter Eggers, the Bardocks for sure. She's one of my Rhode Island Reds. They have, both of them have them. And then those are Easter Eggers. They've got them. The, er, uh, that one's the one that might be my male. His aren't as pronounced as everybody else's. And then also my little wonky foot over here. She doesn't have any either. But everybody else is starting to get their little butt feathers, which is super cute. That drives me nuts that they like. I got that because I don't want them stopping each other from eating. There's theoretically enough holes for them to all eat at the same time. But as you can see, they're just, that's not how that works, you know, in theory and practice. And then they just sit on it. I guess that's their roosting thing, which is funny to watch. And then this is funny too. Like they'll dig holes. I have to fill them in with extra pine needles. They had a big one over here and they keep doing a big one over there. Like, and then they'll all huddle in it and sleep at night, which is funny because the light's over here. But anyway, they're starting to take a nap. We have two week old baby chickens. We're gonna, we've got the posts to build their coop. And then today I'm doing a material tally because, you know, it started with eight and that's not a big enough coop for 15 of them. And I'm probably gonna maybe look and see about one more just cause tractor supply or a tractor supply and our local place get their chicks today see if they have any more like Rhode Island Red. Hmm. That one's all squawky right now. I wonder what, maybe she's just cold, but anyway, might come home with one more. I think for the future, I don't want any more barred rocks because I know that some people probably really love them, but I'm just not a huge fan of their personality yet. They're kind of skittish and flighty and they stir everybody up i don't know whether i like my red sussex either she's funny but like everybody else is calm somebody said that white leg horns are crazy and i'm like nah. i mean i picked them up and they're fine she's so good and fuzzy but yeah i don't know after a week of having chickens i definitely like my easter eggers especially these yellow ones they're so pretty and then the little white leg horns are all right. I think so far my favorites in temperament are definitely the Rhode Island Reds. I don't know if that's because I got a mild batch or what. But yeah, so definitely in the future getting more. Ooh. See, and they have icky butts, but that's not a pasty butt. Which, uh, when I went and bought the two for my sons yesterday... There were about 11 left, and a lady came in and bought the rest of them. And there were a couple that looked like they had tumors on their butts, which I guess is pasting, but like super bad. Which is, it seems bad. Like, three of mine had, you know, nasty butts when I got them home, and I was like, oh. And you try to get like a damp paper towel and take it off gently, is I think what you're supposed to do. I don't know. That didn't work for two of them. I had to cut some of their tail feathers off, which I feel, or their butt feathers, because they're not quite tail feathers, it's underneath. I felt pretty bad. <laughs> like, my little wonky foot, she's bald on her butt, and then one of my other Easter Eggers, I think it's this one, is bald on her butt, and then I think it's one of my leg horns, one of the four of them. But yeah, so... Pasty butt is a bad thing, which I did not know. So if you're buying chicks, you know, I know it sounds weird. Look at their butts. Also look at their feet because, again, she came home with, like, you know, they're supposed to do this. Well, this one does that, but these two kind of, like, curl real bad. So she's kind of gimpy. She's right there in the middle. 
poor thing. It's kind of painful. Well, I mean, they all animals just kind of deal with what they've got going, but it's kind of sad to watch her. She raises hell with that red Sussex, though. Anyway, so I guess week two, tail feathers are coming. Pasty butt is still bad. Had to redo their feeding trough because, you know, there's a bunch of them. But yeah, chickens were fun.